Okay, today we're going to show you how to wire up a wiper motor on either a early model XJ or an MJ, and we're going to show you how to use it with an aftermarket wiper motor or one that doesn't come with the plug, or uh, if you have a two, if you go to the junkyard and you get a 2000 or 2001 wiper motor, you're going to need this wiring diagram. Stay tuned. All right, today on the Comanche, we are working on the wiper blade. So the problem that we're uh, having is that when you turn the wipers on, they work, but when you turn them off, they don't go back into the park position. Everything else seems to work, but they do not go back into the park position. So what I did, and that's kind of aggravating. So what I did was I pulled the, um, the cowl uh, cover off. I actually happen to have, this is the old one right here, but I uh, pulled the cowl cover because the uh, washers did not work. Um, and I noticed a hack job here on the wiring. And take a look at this. This looks like a fairly new um, wiper motor. And it looks like they only hooked up two of the uh, six wires and I think one of these wires has to do with um, uh, going back to park position so we're gonna try to see if we can reconnect these wires and see if that works so take a look and at we'll this go one. out here to the parts Comanche and I'll show you what a old usual so here part. on the parts Comanche the wiper system is intact it has not been uh, molested so to speak and this is what the uh, what a you know, 40 year old wiper motor looks like. This is toast, but the wiring harness is still in good shape. And as you can see, it is all together. So we're gonna use the reference of the parts Comanche on the other Comanche to see if um, we can get these things working in the part. I was going position. to get the power probe out, but I don't think I need to. I think I'm just gonna connect these wires and see what happens. Like we have a black wire and a red wire connected. That's obviously positive and ground, but then we have a brown wire. So I'm gonna disconnect this brown wire and let's see what it does. That was all corroded and not making much of a good contact. So let's see. Okay, what so here we have black and red. For some reason they had the brown and white one connected. There is a blue and gray one that, um, that I guess may go to this blue and green one. I really don't know. Okay, after hours of playing with this, I finally figured out the wiring diagram and probably figured out why the previous owner did not get this thing to work right. So, if you get a new wiper motor, some of them come with the plug and some of them do not. I noticed from the auto parts website. And so this would, undoubtedly was one that did not so he pieced together and at least got two of the speeds to working but he couldn't get the park feature to work because of this blue wire probably right here so notice on the old one and the new one blue green gray blue so you what I did and the mistake I made was I hooked black to black red to red and then um, I figured out because the white was positive either it would go to brown or one of the other ones the problem is blue to blue so blue actually goes to green not blue to blue so at first i did blue to blue black to black red to red and then figured out could not get it whatsoever but the actual configuration is blue does not go to blue blue goes to green so i'll take a screenshot of this this is how i got this to work it now works perfectly so if I turn the wiper on, it will uh, go ahead and that's the low speed. It also works on the high speed. But if I turn it off, it now goes to the park position, which is what exactly it should do. So now I'm going to go ahead and uh, splice these wires together, maybe solder them and get it all buttoned up. Okay, I got it wired up the plug I'm gonna tape this up with some electrical tape and one of these wiper blade um, arms was missing the catch that keeps the wiper blade on here and keeps it from flying off Let me so show you. as you see this wiper blade arm has the catch on it and this catch moves up and down 
and right here and allows that little piece to go into uh, this groove right here and keeps it from flying off. So I got me a new Dorman one. I was going to just use one from the parts Comanche over there, but the reason I didn't was I wanted one, at least on the driver's side, with a very hard spring to press it up against the window. So that's why I got this Dorman. This is the part number there. Uh, these are not the same wiper blades as a, uh, an earlier uh, XJ, like a, excuse me, a later XJ, like 97 through uh, 01. And I'm not sure if the arms will fit or not, but the difference is on the... Uh, newer xj's it has a u uh here and not one of those little uh extensions i like the u better but hey that's what we got yeah yeah got it all buttoned up down there let's see if it's gonna work yep let's see if it parks turn it off all right success all right this is it all buttoned up i only put one wiper arm on it the other one i have hanging up there it's being painted to match this is the Dorman unit. It seems to be working pretty good. So let's see, we'll get in and we will just turn it on there. We will do the, wa the uh, washer, washer works and it works even on fast. And when I turn it off, it parks. So I would call that success. All right, that's about it. I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, Y'all have a great weekend.